So thanks a lot happening today. A big day for the state of Alabama. Doug Jones will be sworn in as the newest senator, newest Democratic senator. CBS 42 News reporter Britt Moore in our digital newsroom with more today swearing in ceremony. Britt. Well, Art, we know soon to be Senator Doug Jones will go against tradition just a bit for his swearing in ceremony. According to our news partner, AL.com, Jones chose former Vice President Joe Biden as his escort to that ceremony, a non traditional move. Typically, a new senator chooses their home state colleague, that's Senator Richard Shelby. Now, CBS 42 sat down one on one with Jones just a day after he won the race to talk about what he hoped to accomplish once in office. Now, we asked him about the image of the state and Alabama being the brunt of jokes on the national stage. He tells us his win can help heal a negative image and help him get things done in Washington. We all know what the history of Alabama is, you know, and for I think for the, the country to see that the state of Alabama uh, has now put somebody in the United States Senate who reached back 37 and 38 years to prosecute Klansmen who bombed a church at a time when we were as divided as we could have possibly been. Uh, it speaks volumes, I think, for uh, the folks in the state. Now, as for the details about the swearing in ceremony, we know Jones will be sworn in on a family Bible and he'll be escorted by friends and family. Now, Jones will be sworn in at 11 o'clock this morning in the old Senate chamber of the U.S. Capitol. At that time, he'll become the 49th Democratic member of the Senate and the first Democrat in Alabama to win a U.S. Senate seat in 25 years. For now, we're live in the digital newsroom this morning. Britt Moore, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, Britt, thanks a lot.